Hi guys, I have another great question that I want to answer. And the question was, do you ever discuss your business with your spouse? If not, why? Um, and that is a much more involved question than you might think. But um, here's how I look at it and here's how I work with some of the business owners that I do. Um, your partner can become an excuse for not doing the right thing. So, you know, your wife probably, you know, generally, your wife will not be involved in the business. She doesn't have a business background. She doesn't know the trials and tribulations that you're going through every day. And it's unfair of you to burden that person with those things when it's an almost impossible situation for her to solve. So there's nothing wrong with sharing everything that's going on in your business with your partner. And what you want from that is some kind of emotional support. Basically, I'm going through a hard time and, you know, you know I need that support. And on occasions, my wife and I, what we've done is we use a scale of zero to 100. So I might say to her, how are you doing today? And she'll say, well, I'm at 70. I'm at 60. And what that means is that other, you know, 30 or 40 percent, it's my job to make sure I have her back and make her feel the best that she can. Maybe she's having a bad day and it's my job to try and pick up the slack or not give her a hard time. Right. So everybody knows when they can push their part partner's buttons. Um, and if that person is not feeling well, it's the wrong time to do it. But coming back to the question of should you or shouldn't you uh, share everything that's going on with your business? The problem is that a lot of what a lot of businessmen do, their wives don't really know or understand. They don't know how everything works in an organization. And the right person or people to talk to is your team, other businessmen, a mentor, somebody who can guide you, somebody who can give you an honest opinion. And in particular, if you're going through something that's difficult or hard or the business is in trouble, then what you want to do is talk to somebody who's been through a similar situation. So... Um, there was a business owner I spoke to a few years back who, who just went through bankruptcy and he did every single thing wrong in the process of going bankrupt. And he said, I wish I could just have had a conversation with somebody who had gone through that process, not the lawyers, not the accountants and not the experts. There's somebody who had been through that process. And if you look a little bit farther than that, people and the opposite extremes who have, who their business is on fire. They're really making money and they're growing so fast they can't cope. And, you know, most businesses have a marketing problem, but it can become an operational problem if you grow too quickly. Who do you talk to about that? If you take that problem to your wife, who is not involved with the business and knows that you're worried about it, you know, you basically you make her worried about that too. But there's nothing wrong, you know, getting emotional support, but trying to help, trying to get your wife to help you solve that problem um, is probably not the right person. They can give an opinion. Uh, when I say wife, partner, they can give you opinions. They can tell you what they think. Um, if you've been together a long time, you'll know, you know, they're, uh, maybe they have a very logical viewpoint on things. Um, and that can be immensely great. Maybe they have, maybe you have a moral issue you want to talk over with your partner. Those things are all great to have the input from your partner. But when you need to make some hard decisions, you need to be talking to the right person. That could be your partner. Maybe your partner has been in business for a long time as well. Maybe that partner has worked alongside you and understands the, you know, the intricacies of your business. But generally, assuming that your business has been successful for some period of time, usually the partner kind of dissolves into the background and as managers and CEOs and other people take charge of the business, uh, you still have to make hard decisions. And um, those hard decisions should be 
made with people who have done other hard decisions, who have done other similar things to the thing that you need to try and solve. So it depends on who is the right person f to f for that problem. Remember always who, not how. Who has solved that problem before and how do you get to that person? But, you know, there's nothing wrong, in my opinion, with sharing everything that goes on with the, in the business as long as you understand what you're trying to get with that conversation. Is it emotional support? Do you want somebody to say, pat you on the back and say, yep, you're, you're doing your best, you're trying high, hard, don't give up? That's great. Or do, are you looking for that person to help you solve the problem? Right, so it depends what you're looking for, but generally I'm trying to find the right person to help me solve a problem. And I sometimes will, you know, talk to my my wife and say, you know, this guy I dealt with today was a real head banger and we'll have a conversation about that. And what I'm really doing is sharing information. I'm not asking my partner to help me solve the problem. I'm just looking for emotional support. It's a bit of a long winded answer today, but I hope that helps. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe, follow, and leave a like if you like these types of questions.